Hey, water signs, what up? How are you? August 19th, Mercury goes direct. Yay! Uh, so if any of you have been dealing with misunderstandings, miscommunications, things are about to get a lot easier. I feel that the energy is going to ease up on us, okay? So there's going to be a lot more clarity, going to be a lot more awakening. I mean, we went through the Lionsgate period, which was a portal for awakening, spiritual awakening. And so now we're going direct. So now there can be action taken. Although Mars still is in retrograde, I can't remember. I think it's going um, direct in September. Um, it could be the end of August, though. So let's see what happens. Anyway, we're out of eclipse season. Phew! All right, guys. So um, water sign, what is going on for you guys this this day? Or this? a lot of these readings are bigger than one day. Of course you know that, right? This is not one day thing. Right? Wheel. <laughs> the universe is moving. The universe is moving, darlings. Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. King of Wands. Wow. Sagittarius energy. Pretty strong there. You got a Sag? Maybe a younger Sag? Lovers? There's some news about this. Got some pages here. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's got a Sag. Somebody's got a Sag in their life that they love. Could be you, could be... Um, there's Sag energy here. There's two Sages here. Two, two fire, fires, uh, an older one and a younger one. An older fire and a younger fire. There's also Gemini energy here about choices. Okay, about choices. Uh, let's see. Overarching energy of the reading. Yeah, Aries energy. Wow, fire sign energy. Big time here. So this is about control. There's something about this, this card when I pull it. It's about the whole reading. They extended everything. So this can be about control, about who's in charge, um, about taking a leadership position, right, in a positive way, taking a leadership position. This person could also be an Aries, the older one could be an Aries. The younger one's definitely a Sag, and I feel like you love that person. You love this younger Sag. You're making a choice, and there may be children involved, and it has to do with family. Like the Sag could have young kids, you could have children that will be impacted by the situation. So you're trying to decide. And right now, this Four of Pentacles. Um, come here, you. Queen of Wands. Wow. What is this? Six of Cups. Hold on here. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay. So, um... Huh. Okay. So this feels like there's a lot of people here. Okay. So when we do the tarot classes this fall, the advanced, the intermediate class, the one that's taught in October, we're talking about how to know when there's a lot of people or when it's just a manifestation of an energy, right? Between two people. This feels like, I feel like there's two people here in addition to you, water sign an older fire sign and a younger fire sign. I feel like the, the four of pentacles is something about blocking, blocking your heart. It feels like there could be another fire sign here involved. Uh, there's a soulmate, like a karmic soulmate. Somebody who is um, persistent, nine of wands. somebody who is um, a good match for this older fire sign. There's a lot of people here, okay? So uh, for you here, let's see what this Nine of Cups is. Wow, these Six of Wands. Somebody wants to win, all right? Somebody wants to win here. Also, you're seeing uh, this person as a wish come true. The person you love and want to be with 
whether I think it's the younger fire sign it feels like the younger fire sign that you love and want to be with um, you're seeing them as the cat's meow amazing and it's almost like if you're connected with the older fire sign and you want the younger fire sign the older fire sign might have another option somebody who's better who's better connected to them or who's better matched this younger fire sign feels like the real deal though lovers here you're making a decision making a choice what is this ten of Pentacles other people yes other people uh, you're taking into account what other people say like this could be your family like if you're if you're in a relationship with an older fire sign and there's a younger fire sign a Gemini it's like you want to go toward the younger fire sign but your family might be like what are you talking about all right and so you're needing to resist the advice of the family or friends. You're needing to resist that and see things from your own perspective. This is part of your awakening, water sign. Hi, uh, hanged man here. This is part of your awakening here, which is understanding that it's no longer the, the things you grew up with or the boundaries you grew up with or the beliefs are changing. Wheel, there, things are changing. And so they're giving you they're giving you bad advice in terms of what is going to make you happy. Okay, they're giving you bad advice. And you're needing to see things from a new perspective here. Uh, you could be passionately connected to this person. There's definitely a choice. Excuse me. There's definitely a choice though. Lovers Definitely a choice in love. I feel like you want to choose the femme fatale. You want to choose the, the one you're most passionate about. It's a soulmate. This person's a soulmate. Two of cups, six of cups. Definitely a soulmate. Nine of wands. Uh, you could have been through many, 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 many lifetimes together. This person could also be coming back from your past. Six of cups here. Nine of wands. You could have had a relationship with this person already. And there was some baggage here with this older person or this younger fire sign. There's some kind of experience you've already gone through with them. Or for some of you, your current experience is causing you to feel like you want this younger energy, this fiery, passionate awesomeness. You see them as awesome. And a wish come true. Okay, water sign. So we're going to do an extended read on this. The link is below if you're so inclined. Water sign, August 19th, end of Mercury retrograde, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for air, for, sorry, water signs. All right, see you over there.